traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, and looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart of the weekly NASDAQ. You know, this is the NASDAQ 100. There's about 12 stocks in that 100 that run the whole show. I want you to see that the price objective on this ABCD measures to 13,960, and the high so far has been 13,961. Uh, we hit it on uh, Friday. We came within 10 points of hitting the same number again today. The big news on the horizon is the, going to be the earnings of the leader of this pack, which happens to be NVIDIA. And I want to, and I don't even know what an NVIDIA is. Never bought one, never sold one, never even seen one. But I want to show you what the chart of NVIDIA looks like. Now, remember, these uh, ABCD patterns are uh, predictive in nature, but of course they fail quite often. But as we take a look at this NVIDIA chart on the daily, you can see the ABCD to the downside. Now, all I did is when we have gaps on the downside, what you do is you add the amount that gaps to the CD leg, and that'll get you right to this level right here. And then you can see the market making A, B, C, D all the way up to where we are at uh, the high today has been uh, Friday was 13.19. It's now trading at 13.16. Well, 30, 40 dollars in a stock like this is nothing, folks, because it used to be uh, 450 dollars a share, and you could easily see it jump 50, 60 dollars, and it or maybe even more, and that's going to put that Nasdaq up into the stratosphere, and it could pull everything else up with it. Now, one of the things that we also trade uh, quite. Uh, well, we trade it every day just about, is the uh, E-mini e S&P. And, of course, here's where we were on Friday, and we hit it again last night, the exact price up there at 42.22. Uh, That's where we sold it. We had a $0.10 cent stop in it. Uh, it's dropped $1,000 twice. I haven't checked it lately. And I just told the folks to put your stop uh, just, you know, at the usual place right above it by 10 points. And if we get filled... We just move, we'll find something else because it'll give you plenty of chances to do this. And folks, this is a bifurcated market, as Basil Chapman would uh, tell you. And let me show you why it's bifurcated, okay? The first thing we want to do is we want to look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average during the same time now that the market was making new highs in the NASDAQ and the E-mini s and well, matching the highs, not making new highs. But you'll see here, all we were able to do was to make an exact 61% retracement this morning within five points of the exact number. And then you can see the market drops 300 Dow points to complete the A, B, C, D to the downside. Well, that's one thing, but let's take it just a step farther because you know we like to look at these markets to try to determine where we think they're going to go. So if you did the calculations of the ABCD pattern, the first thing you'd want to do is to go and see what would be the 382 retracement of this whole move. And there it is right there, except Larry did the wrong chart. Just give me one second and we'll get it up here. There's the one we want and we'll get it up here to see it. And here's where we are. You'll be able to see the exact 382 of this whole move down stopped right there and it's backed off about a hundred Dow points not much as of yet but this thing it's much like apple's earnings coming out but this that um, nvidia now has almost six percent of the value of the whole nasdaq 100 and there's only you know these are real expensive stocks because they're cap weighted and that's why they carry so much weight and why they jump around so doggone much so we're going to find out whether this is some type of a um, 
a topping pattern up in this area, or we're going to find out whether it's going to be a breakaway to the upside, and that is certainly possible. Now, before we get to that, I got a phone call over the weekend from my good buddy, Jim Twentyman, a number of times. Hold on, folks. Uh, the beeper is going off, and I want to be sure. Uh oh the old piggies are getting ready to be bought. Hold on just a second, boys and girls. I want to get the uh, hogs up here because the uh, beeper just went off, and I want to make sure that I have it marked as it should. And let me see where we are. Ooh, we're almost there. Not quite. About another dollar to go down in the hogs, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, here is the chart from Mr. JT. The number of times he calls me, folks, is like three times a year. And those are usually his birthdays and holidays, not about market stuff, because we studied this stuff together for 58 years. But here's what he told us. If you'll remember, and these numbers hit the exact numbers, I want you to follow the first red line right here. You see how it touches the line here, and it touches the line here, and it comes down right to the 61% retracement, okay? Now that's again, 45 degree line. JT says when this hits like this and matches up to these other spots, it acts as a fulcrum to push it to the upside. And what he brought to our attention is what's happening to silver right now. Remember the 382 on this was at um, $23.91 per ounce. And we went below it by about 40 cents and now we've passed um, I haven't even checked it this morning whether we're we're trading there or not. We're trading almost there. It's at 28. Uh, it's at 84 right now. But as long as we don't take this low out right here, that's at uh, 2350. This has got a chance that if it starts up, look out because that could really be a huge move because this whole correction that we have here is going to be just a tiny bit more. Then the 382 retracement, and that acts as a fulcrum. The fact that it held it uh, within 10 cents is pretty important. But if we go below 23, uh, uh, JT said 2350, then this is a failed pattern, and we're probably going to go a lot lower. But the key is watch it if it starts to break out. He is uh, going to be buying on a breakout above 2410 with his stop below this recent low right here, because if it's correct, this has a $6 per ounce move possibly coming in uh, silver. Now, that's from the words of Jim Twentyman, not my words, but uh, he's a pretty sharp dude. So I'll be watching this one very, very closely and trying to get you some information on it each day as we look at it. The gold is actually holding up pretty well. Remember, we were looking for the gold to get down to 19 uh, 75 and we got down to 1953 uh, and uh, now it's back up to 1975 1977 right now so the same thing goes with the gold but the silver is the one that lines up just absolutely spot on if it's going to uh, you know line up you know as closely as possible by the way our, our guest today at the break will be Jim Bartoloni of Bart's Charts. He's got some good stuff on the S&P and the natural gas. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have a caller from Arizona. Jeremiah, what uh, can we help you with today? Hey, good to talk to you again, sir. Um, I just had a question on crude oil. I'm looking... Mm -hmm. um, just wonder what you thought about it. I got it on the third. I, I use the thirty minute chart. I got a. Looks like I'm getting a. It's about a sixty one percent retracement on a on an ABC down on the thirty minute chart. That's um, exactly what you have. You're looking at a market that's in a, a short term downtrend on that thirty minute, and it's approaching the sixty one percent retracement. So, that's going to be your risk factor. That's uh, that. You have to decide. Usually what we do is we usually risk between 50 and 80 pips, which is between $400 and $800. And the reason for that is that's a $71,000 contract, so you've got to give it a little bit of uh, room. If you, uh, if, if you want to trade the smaller size, uh, the, the, the mini crude contract, it's very, very active and uh, extremely uh, d trades just like the big ones. So if you want to scale it down, you can certainly do that. But... You're, you're spot on on the pattern. You've got that figured out pretty quickly. Yeah, it's, I mean, it seems simple, but, like, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm just having fun with it. It's, uh, <laughs> I've been having fun with trading. this for a long time. <laughs> I, I stopped being so afraid of it. Like, I just yeah. got past that point where you're afraid, you know, and then I just don't feel the fear that I used to feel, and it feels like, you know, like the scales came off your eyes or something. You could see it, you know. <laughs> Well, can I mention something to you that's very, very important? Yes, sir. There's only one thing that will destroy your fear or increase your fear to make it go ballistic. And you know what that thing is? Not using a stop. So if you trade yes, this, if you trade this methodology without using a stop, you're just uh, it, it, it's not might not be today. It might not be three weeks. It might not be three years from now. But one of those days, you're going to put on a trade on with no stop. And it's going to damage you, not just monetarily, but it'll damage the trading soul. And you got to remember that you don't know what's going to happen next to these markets. You know, Putin could uh, throw up a white flag and say, you know, no more fighting or whatever. I mean, I'm just making stuff up. But I've seen it happen many times before, especially to people that are new to this, which you are. But it does take time. But you've got to use a stop on all of these, because if you don't, you're telling Mother Market, I know more than you do, 
And believe me, she knows a lot more than you do, and she'll find out every single thing that she can do to destroy your success. So the only thing that'll protect you is Jeremy protecting himself by putting a buy stop in or a sell stop in to protect your position. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir, it does. It does make good. a lot of sense, and I do. I appreciate, you know, hearing that from you. So, I do. Well, I've been there and done that. That's why I repeat it. <laughs> no, no. Hey, you know what? It's uh, sometimes the important things are important. <laughs> they certainly are. Well, anything else I can help you with today? Oh no, sir. I just I appreciate the community, and I appreciate uh, your show, best show online. Uh, my favorite at all of them. So I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Yeah, www.tfnn. That the Tigers Den is a great place. But thanks for calling in, Jeremy. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. Okay, okay, folks. The next one we're going to talk about here is going to be the natural gas market. And I'm going to give a little bit of a heads up here, hopefully, because uh, if you'll remember here, uh, Mr. Bartolioni was telling us to buy some natural gas a little while ago. He's going to be covering this again here uh, in just a few minutes, but I wanted to whistle his, uh, uh, his, uh, his uh, baritone voice flute <laughs> I screwed that one up. Anyway, you can see the ABCD that we had here. We're in a correction mode now, but he was well, he was trying to buy that down at 190. It moved 60 handles, but folks, the one that we have to really give him the big thanks for was the one from uh, early uh, late February when he came on and uh, spent a great deal of time talking to us about this 382 pattern that we had uh, going on in the regional banks. This was the natural, the the, uh, the regional banks for the Nasdaq. These are the smaller banks. You can see the perfect 382 retracement there, a beautiful ABCD, and it was a weekly chart. And you can see how much we dropped, folks. I mean, that was a monster move. We lost three or four that we know of uh, major banks uh, in that debacle, and I'm not even sure uh, it's over as of yet. But Jim will be back with us in just about seven minutes and talk to us about some of the other things that he's looking at, which is pretty good. Now, I want to, this one here, We, you know, folks, we had that buy signal in corn, and it acted so beautifully. And over the weekend, I was speaking with uh, uh, Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management, and uh, we were talking about this uh, soybean situation where we had this uh, El Nino supposedly forming in the Pacific and the beans were setting within a nickel of the exact 382 right here as you can see and uh, I said well we've got to put a uh, got to put a limit minder on this and so it missed it by five cents and has rallied 50 cents today folks so something really big has happened. Well, it's helped our corn position pretty good because we're up about $900 in the corn position. But we missed this uh, potential buy here in the July soybeans by just a little bit. And I've mentioned to you, this is a weekly, folks. So the fact that it went right to that level right here, we've got to pay attention to it. I'm following soybean oil. I'm following soybean meal. I'm following the soybeans, wheat, corn. And uh, those are the ones that I'm following. Now, the wheat is still acting weak. It's, uh, you know, it's going down, almost down. I haven't checked it recently, but it looked like it was going to go below the uh, coveted uh, $5 uh, level, excuse me, $6 level. And in fact, we did. We went down to 596 And from there, we uh, rallied up to the, uh, we rallied about $0.10 cents, uh, today. So those are a few of the things that... Uh, we're paying attention to. We've got some big things coming, folks, in these grain markets, and I love trading these grains. So we uh, we're in the we're in the corn, acting pretty good. So now the now the job is to see. We've had this big move, and this may be just a, a short covering rally like we've seen before, but it might not be, and that's the key. Is we got to look at it to tell us whether we're going to be there right on the money to see if it's going to be it. Now, we're going to take a little trip. Across. We're going to go to China now, folks. I want to show you the Chinese market because uh, 
they banned everybody or see, they banned microns, whatever the microns are. I, I think they're like uh, wa ruffles, but I'm not sure. But anyway, you'll see uh, we've been in a very, very strong downtrend for the last three years. The last rally that we had on this weekly chart was about two months ago and uh, three months ago stopped exactly at the 382 retracement certainly doesn't look that good and then also the pundits on uh, Bloomberg and some of the other places are telling us the emerging markets are the place to be I have never traded an emerging market I don't even know where they're emerging from all I can tell you is this isn't a bullish chart 382 again Let's stay tuned for Bart's Charts and Jim Bartoleone, number 550. A gold report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we have on the line Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. How are you doing today, Bart? Hey, Larry. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Pretty good. How's number 50? Did J.J. take number 50 as his number for the basketball, or do you know? <laughs> no, he actually took 23, Michael Jordan, believe it or not. Oh, he Larry, he did great. He made all CIF in San Diego. Oh, um, wow. We're actually, he's on the waiting list at Navy, so we'll see, knock on wood. But uh, he got looked at by Air Force. Um, actually, just really kind of turned that down, which 
I wasn't too disappointed. And I'm kidding, but oh. uh, yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> But last thing, he, he decided to go for soccer, and uh, they won the CIF championship in San Diego for lacrosse. I'm sorry, lacrosse. He hadn't wow. played in 10 years, so it's been one heck of a ride, Larry, I can tell you that much. How's everybody? How are the grandkids? Everything's good. Everything's good. I said number 50, folks, because uh, Jim's father, I still have a picture of him uh, that you gave me, uh, Bart. He was number 50, and he was quite the athlete himself, wasn't he? Yes, he was three uh, three star athlete in high school and two star in uh, college. Actually, got recruited right. to play baseball in the in the pros. Turn it down for the CIA, believe it or not. So, oh, no, that's what he CIA. Tells, that's what he tells me. CIA is that a soccer team? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the CIA. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, it, it's uh, soccer. It's always good to it's talk a soccer to you. <laughs> it's a soccer to me team. Hey, tell soccer us about the yen, the yen versus the dollar. What are we looking at here, buddy? Yeah, you know, Larry, so I, I wanted to bring this one up. Um, so this isn't the actual currency, you know, the spot currency or the futures. Yeah. This is actually an ETF, uh, YCL, uh, Yankee Charlie Lima. Uh, it's actually a levered one, um, and I got it on log scale, but I love seeing, you'll see here in a second, um, opportunities for Gartley Buy after you've had a big ABCD. So one of the things we've talked about is a lot of times in price, uh, ABCD might not work. But a lot of times, if you just do a quick log scale on a long term, like a weekly or monthly, you'll find the ABCD in percentage terms. And this YCL for the yen, it's crazy. So over on the you know spot FX or on the futures, uh, I know that you know we've both been watching this potential to um, short the dollar and go long yen via the Gartley sell. Well, here's an opportunity if you're just you know using um, stocks or ETFs to get that same opportunity. So. Long term, we've had an ABCD in percentage terms, and then you go to the daily. Now we're back to a normal chart, not log, and we have just a perfect uh, Gartley buy setting up. And gosh, I, I heard your last segment talking to that younger man. Um, it's all about risk. So, you know, here's a potential. Would it go Went from 26 to so it's basically 10 bucks? So you're risking two bucks to make 10. That's five to one. Not too bad, right? So I think uh, the yen's getting getting ready to do uh, a potentially pretty powerful move. And then again, like you taught me, I just always look for measured moves. And so you can see the red arrow. Um, it's been working pretty well. It goes back, um, gosh, almost two, uh, almost a year. And then the blue line, uh, you can see that. So all these moves, like you said, they nothing new under the sun, right? They always occur all the time. So um, here's an opportunity for us. I'm, I'm certainly looking at playing it. Um, Going to be looking to go long the yen versus the dollar and stop out if I lose two bucks. So so that looks like a pretty good one. What do you think? Yeah, I'll tell you, pretty good is an understatement, but I'll tell you, pretty good is the one you gave us uh, back on February the uh, 26th when you were on saying to sell the regional banks, the KREs. Oh, boy, yeah, boy, that was amazing. <laughs> shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, that was, uh, that was a great one, yeah. Well, thanks, Larry, and all it was was a Gartley, right? I mean, it's yeah. like, oh, we yeah, don't know. Oh, yeah, just a Gartley. Thing. What's a Gartley? What the heck is that? Yeah, um, right? No, this stuff. Yeah. But, um <laughs> There's this next one, you know, again, um, I'm taking a look at oil and I don't know, Larry, maybe I've just taught my eyes to see it, right? For those with eyes to see, but uh, every move down on USO was pretty much exactly 80.68%. I mean, there it is on a log scale. Um, now, the last move down, I, I kind of cropped the wicks and I just used the opens and the close, which nailed it completely. So, um and then, you know, I try to count every once in a while, but the bottom line is, is that looks like five waves down, <laughs> right? So, it sure um, does. And, and then, you know, polarity, just those basic technicals we learned back in the day, you, you can see the trend line that's holding it. And so, you know, I'd love for it to just kind of go on down, maybe do an, an ABCD or a three drives to look at buying it. Yeah. Um, simply because we have such, you know, um, symmetry on the way down. Um, one of the other things you taught me is, um, you know, a lot of times the initial move uh, off of bottom will go 4.236, which is 1.618 cubed. Um, and that's the blue line, the longer blue line. You can see that it did it almost exactly right. So a pullback in oil, pullback in USO is to be expected, especially if, after such a big percentage move. So I'm going to be looking at buying USO a little bit lower. Uh, but sure doesn't look like it wants to go 20 bucks down to 45. But who are we, right? All we can do is manage risk. But I'll be uh, I'll be looking to play that one um, to go long oil. What do you think? 
That looks great. Now, do you, will you trade USO? Is that what you'll do? Do you, will, Yeah, I'll you... probably trade USO. Um, I, I'm not, I just really haven't had much luck doing the future. So I just do the single stocks and then I'll do the spot effects for currencies like I've always been doing. But yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, well, it's it fun, Larry. Not I love coming on your show with everybody. It's so much fun. And uh, by the way, this is our first. This is our first time where I've actually run the screen. We figured yeah, it out. Color Maybe that means something. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the one that always gives me the most trouble. And of course, uh, a couple was about uh, last time we had you on. You were looking to buy some natural gas down there at one ninety. That's right. And change yeah. now and, we're up around two forty. Yeah, so. I had to I had to post it again. You know, as long as natural gas stays above that low, um, this pattern is in force as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And so yeah. we're making a huge. I hate to say the whole call thing. Because it's no call. I mean, it's just a pattern, right? I don't know which yeah. ones work or which one don't. But when you get these longer term monthly patterns, and the thing that's really kind of catching my eye is that, okay, it went a little bit higher in price. Okay, you know, a little bit. But the whole triangle that we're showing, it's exact in time. And it hit, right? So there's a real probability not risking a lot because that's all we can control. Uh, that natural gas could be starting a pretty pretty big multi-year maybe uh, run wow. up uh, up higher and just following the pattern that we're doing. So I'm really watching that one uh, for sure. Um, so that 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 looks like a beauty for now. But um, obviously, heroes and goats will be a goat if we lose that that bottom low. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and goat, you know, goats, nothing more than eating lamb. It's not a big deal. Hey, let's take a look here at this S&P 500. Yeah, you know, Larry, I know you've been tracking it and, and showing it to your readers and listeners and everything, but I just decided I would do it also. We are staring at some massive resistance in the S&P. My count, I got six ratios and two ABCDs in that uh, red box arrow. So, boy. I think that's the level we should try to short the S and P. If it gets up there, right, we'll, yeah. we'll never know. But um, at the same time, well, if it blows through there, it's probably game on that uh, this thing, this correction or this bear market or whatever people are calling it, is over. But I haven't seen six ratios and two ABCDs in a long time. I don't know about you. So that I, that's what I'm looking at on the S and P. Very, I mean, it's it's look at all that overlap. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I can see that. Also, the thing that you're uh, pointing us out is the market's not going down, so those ratios could still be in effect very easily. Yeah, you yeah. Know, all I of, mean, it's been all since October. God, it feels yeah. like forever that we have really yeah. had any moves down of significance. And then if we look at it, it hadn't broken a swing low yet, has it? So wow. this puppy is strong. Hey, Bart, we're going to have you on again soon, buddy. Thank you so much. Love we'll it, Larry. Following. Thanks so much and best to everybody. Love you, okay? buddy. Say hello to the family for me. And you got safe. it, sir. Cheers. Be good, everybody. Jim Bartolioni, folks, Bart's Charts. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. 
These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the E mini SP again. Uh, this is from uh, Sunday, of course, and all we did last night, we went up to that uh, 42.22 again. We didn't quite get above it. Uh, we're now trading at 42.10, so it hasn't really backed off very much. And the NASDAQ, of course, is still acting strong. So my assumption is uh, this is probably going to go higher, uh, much like we've seen here in uh, Jim's charts. Also, I did the same thing in the NASDAQ. I've already showed it to you, but I'll... I'll show it to you again because it sets right at a major number. Remember, these numbers fail, so don't be. Uh, that's why you put your stop as close to break even as you possibly can. Anyway, that's what we're watching now. I have to do a tiny bit of homework here. Uh, I did something uh, last night, and that I was watching it, and when I when I was doing it, I forgot to uh, put something put something in. That would make it uh, real easy to uh, to see. So if you'll bear with me here one second, it happens to be in one of my favorite things, and that is the uh, the soybean oil. If I can only find it, there it is, right there. And I want to get this up here. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second, folks. I got the wrong darn one here. Okay, here's where we are in the soybean oil. Let me get this up here. Something big has happened, folks, over the weekend. I don't know if it's this net uh, thing with uh, El Nino. El Nino is the the uh, the current that goes uh, through the south through the Pacific. That brings in the moisture for crops and stuff like that. And when El Nino goes crazy, that's when you get crop failures. So El Nino may be in vogue. Rich Anderson pointed this out to me on Sunday, so I'd start to look at this. And, of course, we are sitting right there at that ABCD. This happens to be soybean oil. It's already started to move. Soybeans have already started to move. Corn started to move. Wheat hasn't moved yet. But we are going to – we're in the corn markets acting really nicely. Missed the first part of the oil and the beans, but I'll be on that like a cheap suit, folks. I'm going to follow that one very, very closely because I do want to get on board because that's a major ABCD, Gartley going back two and a half years and if this is correct uh, boy this could be a this could be a really big one and though those of you that follow the 24 7 you know we've been tracking these uh, soybeans we we made a, a 60 cent uh, a 60 cent move to the upside and we gave 20 cents of it back we still made two grand but we tried it twice on the downside and both times it failed and last night it missed it by five cents so uh, can't stay up all night. I try sometimes. No, I don't really try, but that's uh, that's what we're watching here in some of these grains. They're starting to look very, very interesting. Even the wheat today went below its recent low at six dollars uh, a bushel. We got down to five ninety six. It's now rallied uh, twelve cents. So all of the grains have started to move. Now we're long the corn, 
So you want to stay long the corn, keep your stop at break even. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for a spot to get into the doggone thing and make sure we can add maybe a soybean oil or a soybean or uh, maybe a contract of wheat. We're going to be see if you buy if you buy soybeans, you don't want to be long the soybean meal and the soybean oil, because then you've tripled your risk exposure. So you got to pick one or one of the three. And so what I try to do is to fit, pick the one that is the strongest that happens to be the least risk, because those are the ones that will keep you from being hurt. That's the main thing. I've got to share a, a research project here that our friend Jeff over in New Jersey has been doing. We talked to him last week about this, and he has a lot of data uh, on this. Uh, these are Gartley patterns, folks. I haven't checked it, but all I know is he, he's a scientist, so he knows pretty much what he's doing here. This is his work on looking at Gartley's. Now, we did the same thing with the Floor Traders Handbook. It was done automatically by uh, by John Jameson programming it, and then but we did it all on uh, 15 minute charts on the euro, so we could get a lot of patterns. These are different patterns, different time frames, but they're all Gartleys. It shows you the different ones and the percentage of whether they're right or wrong. You can see how the Gartley pattern does stack the odds in your favor. It doesn't work all the time, but when it does work, it pays off really good. And if it and when it doesn't work, it doesn't pay off pretty good. And so you go out and find another pattern. That's all there is to it. Shake it off. Folks, if there's one thing that I'm really good at in this business is shaking it off. Honest to goodness. I when I when I take a loss in something, I just move on to the next one and then I not I don't even pay any attention to what uh, what's gonna happen next. I because it's just like being a telephone salesman. A little pays a little better, but you know if you have, if you dial 90 times uh, you're, and you don't get nothing, the next 10 calls may be the reason you do it because you're going to average about three percent of the calls are going to give you a, a, a winning chance. And we have someone famous on the line right now, Mr. Z from Philly. John, how are you? Well, famous or infamous, I uh, I'm not sure which, <laughs> but. Uh, Good to talk to you, Larry. Thanks for having Jim on. And I wanted to follow up on the soybean market, if you could, please. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, I wanted to ask is, can you uh, uh, show here in Tiger TV your new crop November soybean contract and tell us what you see with that uh, particular pattern, please? Okay, I'm going to bring it up here right now. Because I was watching this likes now, you can see the little red boxes. Those are the 1.618 expansions. Uh, this is what I was looking for to be a buyer. Now, uh, I did not. I did this Saturday morning, Jim. So, uh, John. So I didn't. Uh, I don't know whether it made that number down there to, uh, or not last night. I I know the I know the July beans missed it by a nickel. Uh, the oil hit it pretty much spot on. But I didn't check the November because I was doing other things and, of course, the euro and bonds and, and some of the other things that I'm working on. But uh, I'll have to check that to see if it's any good. Let me, let's just do it right now together since we can do that. And 1161 was a number. So let me see if I can pull up a chart here on the beans. The low was 11. While, while you're pulling up that chart, let me ask you a question. I, I appreciate I, uh, I'm looking at what you see. Yes. In uh, Tiger TV, uh, is um, that 1161, is that an ABCD target? Is yes. that what that is? Yes, it is. It's a 1.618 expansion of that big move down, and that number was at 1162. The low was 1172, and it's trading 20 cents higher now at uh, 1192. So that's still on my watch list. I mean, 10 cents, uh, 20 cents in beans anymore can just be a short covering rally, as you know. But uh, we've got to watch that 1162 uh, in the in the November beans because you know, remember they're, they're trading for a buck and a half under the the uh, the spot July beans, uh, you know, for the old crop. So this is, could be one of those years where we get some really nasty weather problems from El Nino because it surfaced uh, this past weekend. And uh, evidently, it's real. So we'll we'll keep following it. You know, Rich Anderson pays thousands of dollars for these weather reports, and he was the one that first alerted me to the fact that uh oh, 
we got to pay close attention to this. So it'll affect the corn market too. But boy, the beans, boy, when they get hit with El Nino, you and I know what that's like. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. We'll be right back, folks. John Cherbany, Mr. Z from the Tiger Den. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, and I would like to uh, continue on with the stock market stuff because we're at such a critical level. It's not backing off, folks, so it certainly looks like it wants to go up higher. That number would be right at uh, 14,000, I believe, or 13,960 is the high that we're looking at in that uh, price of the uh, of the NASDAQ. I'll, I'll post it again. You'll see it on the weekly, but you know this is an A B C D, so it can easily, especially with earnings coming out today with Nvidia, that uh, this could be a lot uh, different. But you know that's just neither here nor there. We'll do one or the other. When we do the second half of this show here, uh, coming up in a little bit, I'm going to go over the grain markets with you folks, uh, just to show you some of the things that I've been watching, and uh, hopefully we'll 
get an idea of what we're what we're trying to uh, accomplish by getting along some of these. Uh, so we'll be we're, we're going to be there. You know, <laughs> we miss a few once in a while, but uh, when the bell rings, we're usually coming out of the ring with the gold belt. So not all the time, but some of the time. So that's the main thing. Now remember, we've got Nvidia coming in with earnings right now. It uh, had a high of 13 to 19 here uh, on Friday, and last I saw, it was trading around 13. Uh, 13. Wow! Shut the front door. Thir let's try 319 and 13. Uh, 15 is what I saw a little bit earlier. But if earnings come out on this, folks, and believe me, these are very, very emotional. And as you see many times, you can see a, a huge gap on this, and this would make the next stop in on some of these things. And I just turned the mic off. By accident, I hope I got it back on again. So we're going to be watching this one closely. So stay tuned for the next part of the show, and we will be talking about the uh, the grain markets. Those of you that are not involved in it, I think you'll enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, I'm going to enjoy it. That's what's important to me. We'll be right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. 